Hi students, today let's discuss regarding suppository. Suppository means it is a conch-shaped or bullet-shaped medication which is gelatin or glycerin-based solid at room temperature and melts at body temperature. So suppository means it's the kind of medication that will be having a shape of cone or a bullet which is having a content of gelatin or glycerin and it can be inserted into the body cavity for delivering local or systemic effects. And the main mechanism of suppository is it can melt at the body temperature and deliver the effect. Okay, so it is used to create local and systemic effect in the body. So this is a picture of a suppository. So it will be having a shape of a cone or a bullet shape so that it can be easily inserted into a body cavity. There are different kinds of suppository according to which area to where we are inserting that suppository. Suppository are of different kinds. So in this class, we will be dealing two kinds of suppository that is rectal suppositories and vaginal suppositories. So first is rectal suppository. It is a solid form of medication that is inserted into the cavity. According to the cavity, there are different kinds of suppositories. So rectal suppository means from the name itself we get an idea which is the body cavity. So the conch-shaped medication that will be inserted into the rectum. So this is a picture of inserting a rectal suppository. So this is the rectum and we are inserting a suppository into the rectal cavity. So there are lots of purposes for doing rectal suppository insertion. It is mainly to create localized effect and treat infections or inflammations associated with any kind of pain. We can insert this rectal suppository to decrease the pain following the rectal surgeries and to relieve constipation because it can be a relaxative effect. Okay. For example, Belkalax suppository, that is mainly we are inserting to relieve the constipation of the patient and especially in case of children, we can use rectal suppository to reduce the fever. Okay, so this is a picture of a different kind of suppository. So this is an acetone in suppository to decrease or to reduce the pain as well as it's a bisacordial suppository or suppository or dark suppository to reduce or relieve the constipation. So next is the equipment, which are the equipments needed to insert a rectal suppository, a tray containing medication, which means the rectal suppository, either it may be an acetaminophen content based or a delcalax based suppository and a lubricant chili for the easy insertion of that suppository we need a lubricant chili and a gauze tape gloves and giving tray these are the necessary equipments needed to insert a rectal suppository next is the procedure first is review the medication orders and confirm the identification of the patient and gather the equipment before going to do any kind of procedure we should review the medication order it is mainly to confirm that we have we have taken the correct amount of medications and correct the right drug and for the right patient. It is mainly to reduce the error during the medication administration and treat the patient exposing only the anal area because we are going to insert the rectal suppository with the rectal cavity so that we should make sure that the needed part of the body is adequately exposed and to reduce or prevent the unnecessary, unnecessary exposure of the body parts. Then forward side line or fins position with upper leg flex upward. That is the proper position for delivering the rectal suppository. It is mainly to facilitate proper insertion of that suppository. In fins position, we can directly or we can safely introduce this medication into the rectal cavity. So this is the position of fins position and through that we can insert the medication correctly. Then after arranging all the equipment for this procedure, we can wash our hands and wear the gloves. 
So pain in the cause infection and to maintain a stability during the procedure or else it can cause severe infection. Okay, then lubricate both the index finger of the dominant hand with suppository. It will help to reduce the friction and facilitate the easy insertion of that drug. So after uh, wearing the gloves, we should lubricate our index finger. So index finger is mainly used to insert the suppository so that it should be lubricated to prevent or to reduce the friction. Then educate the patient to take deep breath and relax himself so that it can be inserted very easily. It can reduce obstructions for inserting these medications. Okay, so it causes difficulties while inserting the suppository. It can reduce the difficulty. Then retract the patient buttocks and generally insert suppository with gloves in this finger. While retracting the buttocks, we can get an easy access to insert this like a suppository. After insertion of the suppository, wipe off patient's end area or else it can cause some kind of swelling. Then ask the patient to remain in supine position or else what will happen? The rectal suppository can come out accidentally. So to prevent that, uh, to prevent that accidental expulsion of that suppository, you should educate or you should tell the patient to remain in supine position for at least 5 or 10 minutes. Okay. Then provide bedpan or assist patient to reach toilet because within this uh, first half an hour if, if you are providing this little suppository to relieve the constipation patient may feel a tendency to defecate so we should provide a bedpan or ask the patient to reach the toilet if laxity reactions are caused by the suppositories uh, example if you are administering a velcroac suppository then remove gloves with dispose of all the articles used and wash the hands it is mainly to prevent the cross infection and document the procedure provide comfortable position to the patient after that procedure in the documentation we should report that what kind of suppository that we have used and whether the patient has uh, uh, passed the stool or not okay so these points should be mentioned while you are documenting that procedure so this is the picture of how we are inserting that rectal suppository. So this is the rectal suppository and it should be inserted only with a gloved hand or else it can cause contamination. Okay, then with the non-dominant hand, you should retract the buttocks so that we can get an easy access for inserting that rectal suppository. Okay, this is the picture of how we can insert this suppository for a baby because in especially in infants or child we are inserting this rectal suppository to reduce the body temperature so that we can get acetaminophen or paracetamol content based suppositories are available okay so this is the total picture of the procedure of rectal suppository insertion before going to perform the procedure we should make sure that our hands is our hands are clean so hand washing should be done then this is the way how we can Remove that that's the supposed to from the back, and we should position the patient in the same supposed position and gently insert using a glove hand. And this is the picture of how we can insert this that is supposed to receive that rectum. Okay, I hope you got an idea regarding what is supposed to do and what is that is supposed to be. What are the situations in which we are preferring this that is supposed to be and the procedure as well as the patient uh, position of the patient that we have to maintain while inserting a rectal supposed to. Okay. So next is we can discuss another form of suppository that is vaginal suppository. Our pain and good idea with the gun, air cam to your dana, medicine in the chain. Okay, everyday carry him, pitch shadow, vagina. Okay, vaginal medication in administration or suppository means these are corn shaped medicated tablets that are inserted into the vagina for producing a local and systemic effect. We have rectal suppository that we have discussed in the rectal cavity and the vaginal suppository that we have medicine inserted into the vagina. Then it is mainly to insert into the vagina to deliver some kind of antibiotic effect as well as to reduce any kind of vaginal infections. Okay. Then the equipment is needed to deliver the vaginal suppository, a medication tray containing vaginal suppository or vaginal cream. It is also can be inserted with this vagina or it can be applied from the vagina. Then lubricant jelly should be needed to reduce the friction and for the easy insertion of this medication into the vagina and cause pieces as well as gloves and pineal parts. So these are the needed equipment needed to deliver a vaginal suppository. So next we can discuss regarding the procedure. First of all, you have to review the medication order and confirm the identity of the patient. We can assure that we have taken the correct dose of medication as well as to, uh, we are going to administer the medication for the correct patient. And gather all the equipment we have already discussed, which are the equipment, uh, 
so that uh, Virginia is supposed to be and we should arrange all the real equipment and explain the procedure to the patient. Generally, we can get a full cooperation, cooperation from the patient. Then give the dorsal resident position. In case of rectus, supposed to be, we have provided patient in a, into a synth position, but in case of procedure of vaginal suppository insertion, we can provide a dorsal resident position to the patient and with the patient exposing only the genital area. We can avoid the unnecessary exposure of the body cavity. Then it can facilitate the proper insertion of the supposed way to prevent unnecessary exposure. Then this is the dorsal equipment position. You can see that patient will be lying in a supine position and the knees are in a flex position. Then this is a picture of how we can take the rectal uh, vaginal suppository from that back. It should be open only with the plowed hands or else it can become dominated. Then uh, next procedure is after gathered all the equipment, we should wash our hands and wear the gloves to prevent the transmission of microorganisms and lubricate both the suppository and index finger of the glove hand. We should wear the or we should insert this vaginal suppository only using your dominant hand. It can reduce the friction and facilitate easy insertion while lubricating this jelly. Then retract the labial fold with non-dominant gloved hand and insert the suppository. In case of rectal suppository insertion, we have to retract the buttocks. But in case of vaginal suppository, you should retract the labial fold. Then only the vaginal vaginal can be easily visible. It can facilitate the proper absorption. Then this is the picture of how we can insert this suppository. If um, either you can insert the suppository by uh, directly or you can use any kind of applicators through that we can insert at the tip you can connect with that suppository and we can insert into the vagina very carefully and using your non-dominant hand you can retract that labia fold okay this is a picture how we can insert the suppository so this is a picture here you can see a suppository is placed in the vagina okay it is safely placed in the vagina then Clean the orifice and labia with gauze paste to prevent the sorting or provide comfort to the patient. And in case of vaginal cream, if you are going to administer a vaginal cream, fill the applicator and insert into the vagina. I have shown a picture of an applicator, isn't it? So this is an applicator. At the tip, you can take that cream and apply to the vagina. Then instruct the patient to lie in supine position after the procedure for 10 to 15 minutes to prevent the expulsion of accidental expulsion of that suppository. So immediately after the procedure, you should tell the patient to remain in the supine position for at least 10 to 15 minutes of time. Then offer perineal pad to the patient to prevent any soiling of bed sheet. Then remove gloves and dispose of the articles and wash hands to prevent the infection and docking in the procedure in which what kind of suppository that we have used and what are the abnormal, abnormal uh, effects or side effects which have occurred during the procedure and whether the patient was comfortable or not during the procedure. Provide comfortable position to the patient immediately after the procedure. Okay, I hope today's class was effective and you got an idea regarding what is suppository and what are the different kinds of suppository. In this class, we have dealt regarding only two kinds of suppository that is rectal suppository and vaginal suppository and we have discussed in which situations or what are the indications for performing this kind of suppository as well as we have dealt regarding the procedure. Okay. Okay, I hope you got an idea regarding these two procedures. Okay, thank you.